This is Spoken Gospel. We're dedicated to seeing Jesus in all of Scripture. In each episode, we see what's happening in a biblical text and how it sheds light on Jesus and his gospel. Let's jump in. The book of Kings tells us more about God than it tells us about Israel's history. You see, God promised David an eternal dynasty and a kingdom that would not be undone even by death or rebellion. But David is on his deathbed and his kingdom is in crisis. God's promise of an eternal throne is at risk. So the question is, will God continue to be a God of life even in the face of death? David's second born son named Adonijah revolts against David's third born son, Solomon. Adonijah is the heir apparent, but David had promised Solomon the throne. To legitimize his takeover, Adonijah turns his father's trusted general and priest to his side and invites his other royal brothers to a secret coronation. But Solomon's mother persuades David to force Solomon's coronation early. David gives Solomon his royal donkey and crowns him king in Jerusalem. Solomon is anointed with oil by a priest loyal to the royal family. Adonijah is in the middle of his feast when he learns his coup has already failed. God's promises won't be undone by Adonijah, but will continue through Solomon. Fearing for his life, Adonijah rushes to the altar where priests offer sacrifices. And in the book of Numbers, the altar was a place of asylum for people guilty of manslaughter. So Adonijah hopes Solomon will apply this law to his treason and he does. Solomon's first act as king is one of mercy. He forgives Adonijah's treason and extends life to a traitor who deserves death. God brings life from the dead. David's encroaching death and Adonijah's rebellion will not overthrow God's plans for an eternal Davidic kingdom. Solomon's ascension and Adonijah's failed rebellion are not just history, but they're actually theology. God will bring life from David's death through his son. And from Adonijah's rebellion, an eternal kingdom will be born. In this way, David's last days as king and Solomon's first are less about a transition from one regime to another, but they're more about the coronation of David's final son, Jesus. Jesus is the promised heir of Israel. He's anointed not with oil, but with the Spirit. He rides into Jerusalem on a donkey. Like Solomon's kingdom, Jesus' kingdom emerges from treacherous political drama, self-interest, and betrayal. Solomon's father, like God the Father, overturns the plots of sinful men to firmly install his son on the throne. And Jesus begins his administration by forgiving his would-be executioners. Like Adonijah, anyone can come to Jesus. Both enemies and traitors can cling to his place of sacrifice and death and receive mercy and life. So I pray that the Holy Spirit would open your eyes to see God as the one who keeps his promises. And may you see Jesus as the King who brings life after death.